What's something you didn't find out about someone until the bedroom? Mine's a reversal. During late 2019 I was horny. Fired up grinder and 15 minutes later was at house ready for fun. Except the guy had stubble and had been drinking beer first kiss made me cry as I began remembering being abused as a kid by my local priest. Said sorry and bailed. Sought therapy. In 2023 began legal action. So the thing I discovered was that I was abused repeatedly as a child, by a priest who had been moved from parish to parish throughout the 80s to abuse more kids. Haven't had or wanted sex since. Too many flashbacks. I was dating this woman almost 15 years ago. After a few dates she eventually came back to my place and we had sex. While we were going at it she burst out laughing. Not a little giggle, I'm talking a full on laughing fit. I got really self-conscious and stopped what I was doing. That's when she informs me that when she orgasms, she laughs. I ended up getting used to it and getting a laugh out of it myself. The relationship didn't last but it's something I haven't come across since her. That my best friend now current partner has a mole on a stick that sticks out quite a bit. I was hands in his pants, making out with him, and about to give him head when I was like, what's this bump I'm feeling? And, bless his heart, he looked ashamed and told me it was just a birthmark that he had always had. I made sure to give him the best head I could after that. Birthmark be damned, I just made sure to not let it catch on my lips or anything, and we had a great time. There are tattoos. I'll show myself out. Edit I didn't explain myself well I was trying to make a dad joke along the lines of I didn't find out about their tattoos until the bedroom because we were naked lols. I was not saying that I disliked somebody's tattoos nor am I anti-tattoo. I have three tattoos myself and literally everybody I've slept with has had a tattoo. I even bought my wife a tattoo for Christmas a couple years back. But thanks for the 50 down votes. Early on with my wife we are making out and she slid her hand under my shirt and then suddenly stopped and yanked my shirt up. She was shocked to find I had chest hair. I asked her if she thought the wolfman level hair I have covering my arms and legs just magically stopped at my chest. She had apparently only dated hairless guys prior to me and was genuinely confused when she first felt chest hair and had pulled my shirt up to see what she was touching. Had a girlfriend, we had made out a few times. One time I went to go down on her and she simply stated don't bother trying to make me come. I've never come from that and it pisses me off when people who think they're great at it try. She wasn't a novice at sex so of course I believed her but she was literally the first woman in my life out of a long list that simply couldn't have an orgasm without dick or doing it herself. Okay, I once didn't find out that someone I was dating had a tattoo of a dolphin jumping over a rainbow on their back until when we were in the bedroom. It was completely unexpected, and I couldn't help but feel a little bit puzzled because I can't imagine why anyone would ever want a dolphin jumping over a rainbow permanently inked on them. But hey, to each their own, I guess. Friend of a friend I'd bump into at the bar. We'd flirt, but never thought it would be more. She had the weird nickname of Bowling Ball. Fast forward to the night the friend in between was a no-show one night. Friend of friend and I do our thing. No one to stop us. I take her home. I get her in bed. She has two vaginas. Or at least two holes. Then the nickname made sense. Had a glass of champagne. Nice chat. A good date overall. However, when the action had barely just begun he went into some sort of a trance touching himself all over. He looked like he was having sex with an entity. I stepped aside and observed with curiosity. He didn't even notice. When he came back from wherever he was I politely asked him to leave. Weirdest experience ever. About 11 years ago he had sex with a super hot, buff Italian guy. His penis was extremely small, surprising me due to his stature and demeanor. Not a problem though. He friend requested me a few months ago after he took a hiatus for some years but the fuck Biden gym tank top he was wearing and his professor pick was a huge turn off. Then he made little noises and baby voice impressions. I don't know how to describe it but in a child sounding voice he would say things like give me your panties he he do 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 such a cute girl. I can't make this up it was one of the top weirdest things to ever happen to me. I fucking later days out at there so quick. He was thick and uncut. I don't know why it surprised me but I was like oh yes that's the stuff. Also he was a super strong. I had a really hard time keeping up with him at first. It was like having sex with an Olympic athlete. I'm still so into him and his body after years together. First time and then boyfriend's bed. I wake up in the middle of the night, because I'm feeling a wire in a small plastic device. It's somewhere around 2003, so I tell him dude your mp3 player is in the bed. It was his insulin pump, 
Dude had serious diabetes and never told me. Didn't happen to me but to a friend of mine who forgot to tell his girlfriend at the time that he had frequent episodes of sleep paralysis. She tried to wake him up in the morning but he couldn't move or speak at the moment. Freaked her out in the worst possible manner. My ex situationship has an abuse kink and I didn't find out until we were about to get undressed. He slapped my face so hard I fell down and the ring he had on left a purple bruise on my cheek for a week. Lied to my friends and family that I just fell into my dresser. Talked a big game about his P&I though okay maybe it is big you know. He was 20 years older than me also anyways found out it was shocking small and look as old as him. Never spoke to him after that horrible experience I understood why he was single. Woman shrugging. Met a girl via Tinder and met at a nightclub. She said look for the girl with great big tits I found her and went home to my place. Her saggy motherfucking tits nearly put two holes in my floor when they flopped out of her miracle working bra. I started seeing this girl, always kind of modestly dressed, long skirts, dresses. It was winter too so no idea what kind of body she had under there. Fucking nipple rings, tats and super fit, like fitness model. So a very pleasant surprise. One of my exes had a biting fetch, which was funny and quirky. Until he bit mine bull during sexy times. We were in high school back then, and I'm an adult now, I still have a scar on my chest till this day ouch I ouch. Guy was cute, a real gentleman and pretty cool. Went to his place and he had a framed picture of the last four Republican presidents over his bed. He said they were his heroes. It was creepy. I decided to go home. Girl I went out with, has nice hair, nails and smelt good. In the bedroom she really stank from the pussy and arse. It wasn't just some kind of overgrowth. It was sweat, stale discharge and overall rancid. Ex of mine who was extreme type A and extremely assertive and dominant in her day to day life, never let anyone even come close to walking all over her, liked being choked and dominated in the bedroom. I'll list all different people. Foot fetish. Secret cuck. Primal dom according to him, the man just growled a little. Larber went in a night roleplay without warning. Had a one inch penis. That actually, he slept on a giant Totoro plushie. And that was we were gonna fuck. Okay that didn't happen but he swears he's gonna buy one for exactly this purpose. I'm not sure he will. I'll skip the sex stuff on this one. My wife talks in her sleep. Says things like. What? And huh? She has never said another man's name. Thank god. That the top of his dresser was covered in uncashed paychecks. This was back when your employer handed you a check and direct deposit was optional. An enormous portrait of John Wayne tattooed on the left side of her stomach, came very close to giving Mr. Wayne a facial a couple times. His foreskin was full of layers of smegma that made his dick smell like rotten cheese. His reason? He thought washing his dick was gay. That some people prefer total darkness. Like, come on, not ever just the table lamp? Sex is best emo when all five senses are involved. That my now husband sleeps face down, arms by his side, face basically in the pillow. He looks like a dead body half the time lol. They were flat earther who could see or as an astral project. Legend is in my eyes are still rolling to this day. That third dick was small and didn't work. What a surprise because the lead up to it was the best I'd ever had. Shame. The super friendly, kind and considerate guy is extremely dominant in the bedroom. And maybe a bitofacidist. That his last relationship did not end well. Upon going down on him, I discovered a bite mark scar on his dick. She wore a wig which I proceeded to promptly snatch off by accident. That was the end of that. That despite the power top energy my BF has, he's a subby little bottom that likes to be degraded. He had a 3 inch tumescence. But that was okay, because his oral game was next level. She had vaginism. More than a single finger was just painful for her. Or he lit as then. Dude was hung. Shockingly so. Over a year later we are still besties having great sex. That I didn't wash my hands well enough after cutting the jalapenos. Sorry, dear. She wore Spanx. And also what Spanx are. They're powerful shapewear. I didn't know girls had hair growing from their areolas until this one time. That he had vitiligo. Going face first into a polka dot dick was surprising. True redhead. Fire crotch. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, that they'd been with one or more guys with larger penises than mine. Short guys are top tier. They packing those extra inches elsewhere, smirking face. That he was wearing a male girdle and wouldn't let me touch him. A girl had him in a trance thinking he was in her pants again. My boyfriend does a really fantastic vampire impression. That her fingers felt a lot longer than they looked. Colonel Mustard, in the bedroom, 
with a candlestick. I can feed myself with $5. A nutritious meal. She has no nipples. It's a condition called athelia.